Brick. Long used in Indian culture to add an attractive yellow color to curries. But it has also become a dietary supplement of immense proportions. $74 million a year in sales, going up to $80 million in the next 10 years. COVID-19 has given a boost to sales, with advertisers claiming that uh, turmeric has immune-boosting properties. There's no evidence for that. <clears throat> in fact, there's scant evidence for the other claims about the benefits of turmeric as well, about uh, joint pain relief, about cardiovascular benefits, about anti-inflammatory effects. These are not supported by proper randomized double-blind controlled trials, although there is indeed a lot of anecdotal evidence. Well, turmeric is the tuber of a plant, and it is ground up into a yellow powder, and the supposed active ingredient is curcumin. Now, although there is uh, no really great evidence about benefits, unfortunately, evidence is now emerging about problems, possible effect on the liver. Over the last few years, there have been a number of papers published in scientific literature about case studies where someone has presented with liver problems, hepatitis, and was traced to supplements of, uh, of turmeric. And um, very recently, there have been about 20 cases reported in Italy and over 100 cases in France with 17 documented hepatitis related to uh, some sort of uh, supplements of turmeric. Now, there are several problems here. Uh, it is believed that about 180 milligrams of curcumin, which is the supposed active ingredient, are safe. But we don't really know how much there is in these uh, supplements because they are not overseen properly by any kind of regulatory agency. And usually they just talk about curcumin in the extract of turmeric. We don't actually know how much uh, curcumin there is. And because curcumin has very poor bioavailability, uh, manufacturers add piperine. This is a chemical found in black pepper, and it interferes with enzymes that normally break down curcumin, so it increases bioavailability by up to 2,000%. Unfortunately, that can also increase the risk of, uh, of side effects. Now, the fact, of course, is that in comparison to the number of people who are taking turmeric supplements, the incidence of these side effects is, is very low. Uh, nevertheless, they are there. And just the fact that they exist should alert physicians that if someone comes in with a presentation of, of uh, unknown hepatitis origin, uh, they should ask, about whether or not the patient has been taking so-called natural health products. And of course, turmeric would be an example uh, of that. So what we have here is yet another example of the false belief that anything that is natural is safe. And that for today is our Kappa Joe.